A while ago I asked you guys to send me questions on my Curious Cat page and you did, you sent me 34 questions, which is awesome. There were actually a little bit more questions, but there were just some that I did not want to answer. So let's just head over to the page, here we go. This is my page, you can see most of it. For some reason my banner is all messed up. I don't know why, it's something to do with uh, it, I don't know, the size. I tried to fix it, but I couldn't, so 34 answers actually. So let's Let's start with the questions. We have just Josip. Um, I know Josip. I've known him for a while now. And he sent me, I believe, multiple questions. Yeah, okay. So, um, Josip was the last one to send me a question. But what we're going to do is we're going to start at the bottom and work our way up. Oh, yeah. It's got to load all of them in. Uh, okay. So, we have... Hey, Laple. So we're going to start at the bottom, okay? Just so you know. Hey, Laple. Cool. What is this? Well, this is Curious Cat. It's a question and answer website where you can post questions either anonymously or using your username. Um, and if you do it anonymously, there is no registration required. So I think that's pretty awesome. So... That's basically it. You ask me questions, I answer them. If you register, you get a notification when I answered it and blah, 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 blah. So, um, okay, what's your favorite game at the moment? Um, oh, I think either Wolfenstein, uh, The New Colossus, or Dishonored uh, 2, Death of the Outsider. But I do also have to say that Call of Duty World War 2 is pretty awesome. Normally I'm not a big fan of the modern Call of Duty games, but I loved Call of Duty 2. I played the hell out of it with my little brother. Uh, I think I spoke about that in the last vlog. And it's great. It's great. I'm going to do a video on it. It may already be online when this goes online. Or it might go online after this goes online. But just know that you can watch a World War II video of me. So, how old are you? I'm 28. I actually had my birthday only two weeks ago. Yeah, about two weeks ago. I turned 28. Uh, so, almost 30. Yay! Okay. Whoa! My bad. <sighs> Let's go back down. Um, okay, so we have, how did you get started with YouTube? Did you always want to make videos? Um, I actually hated making videos. I did a multimedia... Um, education I don't know what the name is in English like the education that I did was multimedia and we uh, we learned how to make animations we learned how to make um, videos how to edit videos how to shoot them but I hated all of that because I wanted to make websites and the thing is I was already pretty good at making websites um, but when I finished my old education which was uh, electrical technician something like that which I hated I wanted to do an easy education where I could get a diploma so that I could go work for some web design company but in the two years that I was there um, I only had about six lessons in web design so I was like okay you know what I'm not gonna spend my time on this and so I pretty much failed in the second year even though I had like a really 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 great internship for the third year but um, now actually I got into YouTube because I watched PewDiePie make videos I watched Jacksepticeye a lot both of them were a big inspiration for me and when I found out that they were about the same age as me I think that PewDiePie is like two weeks uh, older and Jack is like two months younger I think I already spoke about this in a different video but when I saw that I was like hey these guys are the same age as me and look at the following that they have. I didn't really want to do it for the fame. Of course, it's nice to have people <laughs> adore you. No, no. It was just because they were helping a lot of people. And I saw a lot of responses by people who were saying like, Oh my God, Jack, you helped me through such a bad time in my life and stuff like that. And I saw the vlogs that Jack did about it. And it was so touching. And I was like, I want to do this. And I don't know. I want to make people smile. That's it. That was a long answer. That was a long answer. Um, I will scroll down. There we go. Uh, can you shout out my channel? I send it to you on Twitter. Well, sorry, I'm not on Twitter at the moment, so no, sorry. 
Oh, God. Have you ever gotten so drunk that you didn't remember the day after? Uh, probably, probably a few times. I don't drink that much. Um, I'm gonna drink later today because I'm recording a video with drunkenness. And I got some Jägermeister laying in the, fr in the freezer, actually. Um, but I have had some drunk adventures. I remember one time, which was pretty bad. Um, I used to live... Uh, really close to the border of Belgium and in Belgium it's tradition that you know in the smaller villages they have a really big party once a year for all the people that turn 18 that year so they all look for sponsors and everything people give them money to you know organize that party and usually what they did was you would have to pay eight euros which is about I don't know probably ten dollars to get in that was like the the entry price and then everything was free. You could drink as much beer as you want. You could drink as much wine as you want. You know, Coke, Fanta, whatever. But those parties were always the bomb. And they'd have some local DJs playing, you know. Um, and one time I went with a friend of mine. And we had to bike for a few kilometers, a few miles, whatever you want to say. And on the way back, he was so drunk that he rode his front wheel onto my uh, pedals of my bike. So basically the pedal was like this, the wheel went over it and it broke out all the spokes of his wheel. Well, not all of them, almost all of them. My feet hurt, my, you know, my, my foot hurt like hell. Uh, because, you know, it, ha it it was used to break all those spokes and we just fell to the ground next to the road and we were laughing and everything and the guy was trying to stand up and he was like, no, no, I can fix it, I can fix it and he started to break all the broken spokes out of his wheel and he said, if I break these out, I can still bike and, you know, when he was done, there were more like maybe five or six spokes left in a wheel of I don't know how many, but probably dozens of spokes and he just sat on his bike and his bike just did this <laughs> he just you know the wheel just broke i don't know but it it was funny that 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 that's my story um do you ever get stalked by people who watch your videos no no i have less than a thousand subscribers i do not get stalked by people who watch my videos i'm not that big thank you but no <laughs> um simple question cats or dogs for those who are just tuning in, I know this isn't a live stream, but I'm reading from the bottom up. So, okay. Simple question, cats or dogs? Cats all the way. I am a cat person all the way. I mean, I like dogs, but I think they smell. Um, I would hate having to walk them three times a day. And, you know, a cat is just like, you feed it. It does its thing. Sometimes it gets to sit on your lap and you can pet it and everything. And it's just a much chiller pet in my opinion. And I just like cats way, way, way more. Yeah, way more. Lapel, what would you choose? Only play first person shooter games forever or only play Minecraft forever? Um, oh yeah, I remember getting this question. Also, by the way, I've answered all of these questions, but I use a CSS editor to hide all of my answers so that, you know, I can basically answer them all over again, which, which is cool, right? Okay, so which would, I, which would I choose? Play first person shooter forever or Minecraft forever? I would probably play first person shooter games forever because, I mean, Minecraft is awesome and there's a lot of mods and everything for it. But it's still Minecraft. Just imagine in 20 years, games have become so lifelike, so amazing. And I'm still playing Minecraft. That would suck. That, that would suck. So I would rather play first person shooter games forever because then I'd still be able to play at least part of all the new games. Um, so how is life in the not disunited States of America with three Ks? Um, it's good. It's good. I really like the Netherlands. Uh, I wouldn't want to live anywhere else. Of course, today we got the news that net neutrality in America has been killed. <sighs> Seriously, man. I, I, I feel bad for you guys in America. Trump is fucking up so much shit. Uh, it's, it's, it's just sad. It's, you know, it's painful to watch. It's just really painful to watch. 
yeah, I, I don't know what to say about it. I really don't. I really don't. Um, but the Netherlands is pretty cool. We, of course, also have some shit, but it's a nice country. We're really modern. The people are cool. Um, of course, we have the Zwarte Pieter discussion, the Black P discussion, um, which you can Google for yourself if you want. I'm not going to go into that. But other than that, we're mighty fine. I mean, the weather is kind of shitty sometimes, but we had some snow earlier this week, which was pretty cool. And it's it's great. I like I like the Netherlands. You should come here. You should visit. If you want, you can come live here. But we're a pretty small country, so don't all of you come here. Well, I mean, I only have like 930 subs, so I guess 930 people wouldn't be a problem. Everyone, come to the Netherlands! Yay! Um, is YouTube your job? Y your you should re you should remove that e but uh no it's not my job once again i only have like less than thousand subscribers so i do not make enough money to make this my job and also with all of the shit going on i don't even know if i will want to rely on youtube for my income you know what happened to pewdiepie i'm not sure if you guys watched the recent video by emma blackery about the youtube rewind 2017 thing she was saying something like uh why i won't be in rewind 2018 you should go and watch that it has some insight on how youtube treats its creator creators and especially the smaller ones uh if you are a small creator if this is how they treat big creators cramming them all into like one specific shot in order to get all of them together uh just for the gifts if that's what they treat the large creators like what do you think they think about you Simple. They don't think about you. So, interesting video. Uh, Anon, what is this? What is this? This is, once again, a website where you can ask me questions and I will answer them. Lepo, when will you be playing Minecraft again? Uh, I'm not sure if this is someone from the Beanblock server or just someone who watches my videos. I'm not ooh, I'm not quite sure when I will make a new Minecraft video. Uh, and I am also not sure when I will be back on the Beanblock server. I'm trying... I'm trying to make some time, but there are also other games that I want to play. And I have been playing a lot of Minecraft recently. I also don't have that much time... Um, the last few weeks that you know i just got a new game i just got call of duty world war 2 uh i just got getting over it which i still haven't played that much because it's annoying the shit out of me but i'll play it later so yeah i'll, I'll play it later no okay yeah just just ignore but um i don't know if i go and make a video or if i go and play on the beanblock server come join my discord server uh actually that way, it's it's weird, it's weird. Just join my Discord server, it's also in the description, and I will announce it there. Um, Anon, how long have you been on YouTube and do you enjoy doing it? So I checked my anniversary date and it's apparently February 3rd, so in about... Two months, less than two months, I will be doing YouTube for two years. And I do really enjoy doing it, I mean... It's really fun to interact with all the people, with you guys, and it's also really fun to make videos, to come up with new ideas. Not that I make such original videos. I know, I know. But it's it's just fun. But uh, I'm still demonetized, and all of the other shit that's going around is just really demotivating. And YouTube, it feels like YouTube is fucking their creators over and just wants to go with the big brands and the TV stars. And even though... Like, I think Emma Black reset, or, or maybe Casey Neistat, I think Casey Neistat on Hot Ones, like, uh, like, YouTube is going up and TV is going down, and it might even be that TV is still higher than YouTube or online creation, but why would you want to jump over to that other elevator when it's going down, even though it's currently higher up? So, uh, it's, it's just annoying. Please monetize my channel again. <laughs> okay. Uh, next question. Can this video... Can this question be in the video? Yes, it can. It is. Here you go. You're welcome. Deli Belly. Hey, Deli Belly. <laughs> le -la 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 -la. It's me. I know you know who I am. Is your actual name Lepel? Lol. Deli Belly. No, my actual name is Nick. N-I-C-K. 
Um, I think I told this story before, but lapel is actually the Dutch word for spoon. Um, I used to have shadow as a nickname, but it was always taken. So I wanted a new one and I was like, okay, the first random thing that's going to come into my mind is going to be my username. And it was lapel. So now I'm called spoon, basically. Yeah. What's your favorite kind of food? That's a hard one too. That's a hard one too. My favorite kind of food, uh, I really like pizza. I really like pizza. Me and the girlfriend eat a lot of pizza. Uh, I also really like sushi. Me and the girlfriend <laughs> eat a lot of sushi. If we go out to eat, it's usually sushi. And it's usually at Asaka in Enschede, uh, which is a city in the east of the Netherlands where she lives. And it's delicious. Um, but what else do I like? I like pizza, sushi. I also really like pasta. Like tagliatella with uh, cream sauce and salmon. Oh, delicious. It's jelishange. Gel gel um, okay, next question. What sushi do you like? Well... Oh god, I forgot. I looked that up and I wrote that below this, but I can't really enable this again. Um, what sushi do I like? I like uh, nigiri, uh, maki, and sumaki or something like that, which is basically a maki turned inside out. So I basically like like the, um, the rice with fish on top. I like the normal sushi, you know, with the inside being fish or something then a layer of rice and then a layer of seaweed and i think sumaki i'm not sure how 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 it's called but that's basically the other way around it's like the normal inside like fish and then it's for seaweed and then the rice on the outside so i love that i really love that oh yeah and also like um the tempura shrimps and stuff like that and oh i'm not sure if you can call that sushi but it's Awesome. Deli Belly is back and saying, Whoa, Nick, cool name. Mr. Nickelodeon, when will you be online next? I already answered that. And um, you said Mr. Nickelodeon. My friends usually call me Snickers or Snickleback. I don't know. Nickelback or Snickleback. I don't. Basically, it, I think it used to be Nickelback. Then someone called me Snickers and then they mashed it together to make Snickleback. I don't. I don't know. Basically, um, I have a few friends, uh, Jeroen, Jeroen, I don't know how to pronounce that in English, Jeroen, uh, Wouter, and Paul. So basically we started off calling Paul, Polly, and then we were like, okay, so Wouter is now Wally, and then you have me and Jeroen, uh, which would be Jolly and Nolly, but basically me and Jeroen always say Polly and Wally. And I'm like Snickleback, Snickers, and Jeroen is like Shaka Sploof or Shk, I don't know, weird stuff. <laughs> um, hey, Lapel, how have you been? Uh, I've been really good, thank you. Um, the demonetization thing sucks, but other than that, it's weekend, it's Friday. I have Jägermeister in the freezer. I have pizza in the freezer, but I'm not going to eat that tonight. Um, I have a lot of tasty stuff. And I'm going to enjoy myself this weekend. Also, next weekend my girlfriend's coming over because after next weekend it's Christmas. And Christmas is always fun. So thank you. I'm good. How are you? How is the Netherlands? Is it fun to live there? I already kind of touched on that. But yes, it is really fun to live there. Um, it's like I said, it's really modern. We have, you know, some big cities and not... Yeah, actually, we don't really have that big cities compared to the rest of the world because we are a really small country, but we are one of the wealthiest countries. We have great health care. <laughs> Sucking at America. No, sorry, sorry. You guys deserve good health care. But we have good health care. Uh, we have very low uh, rates of unemployment. Oh, yeah. I actually googled like best country in the world or something or number one country in the world and the web and the first website that I found that was at the top of Google said like the Netherlands was number one because of a myriad of reasons we had like really good education healthcare unemployment rates so I don't know but it's awesome here you should really come visit the Netherlands is a great country 
Um, you can smoke weed here legally if you want to, and you can enjoy yourself. Uh, you can go shopping. Uh, I don't know, whatever. I live in Eindhoven. Don't come visit me. Come visit Eindhoven and check some shit out. Okay. Do you only play on PC? Actually, uh, pretty much, yes. I have, a, I have a PC. I have a great PC. I also have a Steam Link so that I can play games on the couch or even in bed. I have a Steam Link in my bedroom too uh, with, with my old monitor, which actually was my old TV and doesn't matter. But I also have a PlayStation 3 that <laughs> I actually got from my old boss because I made a website for him. Because he did band photography, but we we both worked at an electronic store. It's a weird it's a weird story, but he gave me his PS3 in exchange for a website that I made for him, and I never play on it. I used to play on it a little bit, then it got it, then it turned into my DVD player. Now I just don't use it at all because I have my Steam Link and it's awesome. I am thinking about getting a Nintendo Switch though, but only when it's a little bit cheaper. Are you a virgin? No, I'm not a virgin. I have a girlfriend. I've had her for um, about two years. I had a different girlfriend before that, also for about two years. And yeah, no, I'm not a virgin. So, Comrade Tora, I'm trying to gain a following on YouTube. My channel is a shit posting channel. Give me a shout out. Well, shout out to Comrade Tora. He actually comments on my videos regularly. So, thank you for that, Tora, or Comrade Tora, or Kami. I don't know how to call you. But, anyways, if you want to check out his channel, check out his channel. I'll, I'll give you that. Uh. Do you have any gaming console like Wii U or PlayStation 3? If so, I'd suggest you could play a LEGO game since those are fun to do. Well, like I explained, I only have a PS3 or and a PC, but I just don't play on a PlayStation 3. Also, I don't have the means to record gameplay on a console, so... Um, if I do play a Lego game, it will be on PC, but I'm not sure if I will play a Lego game. So, maybe, maybe in the future. Could you show us what your desk area looks like as a reference for people like me who are currently starting new channels? Um, I'll make a picture and post it right here. Um, as you can see, I have my microphone, which is a Samsung CO, CO1 USB microphone. I don't know. It's pretty nice. I have a pop filter. Wait. That's it. I wasn't going to talk during it because it makes a lot of noise. I have my uh, Logitech keyboard. I have a really cheap gaming mouse, but it works reasonably. I have two screens, one for my main gaming stuff and another one for basically looking at the camera, looking at you guys. Um, basically, right below my camera is my OBS, Open Broadcast Software, that's recording everything so I can actually watch my face while I'm talking to you guys. Now I'm looking at you, now I'm looking at myself. It's a little bit weird, but it's great for seeing what I'm doing. And I have a ring light up, up there. It's so hard to point. Oh, whatever. I have a ring light, uh, which is, I believe, by Falcon Eyes. It, Falcon Eyes, you know, like the bird, the falcon, and then eyes. Um, it's uh, four, It's a 54,000K lamp. I don't know. I got it somewhere. It's not an LED. It's like fluorescent, but it works great, as you can see if you look at my face. So that's basically... Basically, it is. oh yeah, and I have a Logitech G430 gaming headset, which is also pretty nice. Which is also pretty nice. I did disable the surround stuff for it because that sounded like crap. Um. Okay. Next question. Oh, we're coming to the top, I believe. You like Team Fortress 2? Would you consider doing videos on it? Uh, I used to play Team Fortress 2 like really long ago, maybe like three, four years ago, maybe even longer, and I did like it a little bit, I, well, I, yeah, I, I, I pretty much, I did like it, but I didn't play it for that long, I never really play games that long, and, you know, to me, you now have Overwatch, which is basically like Team Fortress 2, but better, I don't want to offend you, but that's just my personal opinion, um, so I will probably not do any Team Fortress 2 videos on it, on, 
<laughs> Never mind. But the main thing why I also won't do that is because to make entertaining videos about those games, you need to play them for a while. You need to, you know, you need to know what you're doing. Uh, you need to have at least some skills. And I just don't have that and I don't have the patience to go and play it. So sorry. Uh, how did you come across this platform and how do you think it helps you with what you do? Well, I found this platform uh, because someone else on Twitter posted it. Uh, she's a Dutch girl. So I was like, hey, this actually looks pretty fun. And then I saw you could post anonymous questions, which I also liked. And um, and I think it helps me with communicating with my audience. Of course, you can send me a message on Twitter and everything. But um, I think having a dedicated channel for Q&As is pretty awesome. And it allows me to make videos like this quite easily. I can just go to the website, website, uh, film myself doing this and answering the questions. So I think that that's a lot easier of having it all in one place instead of having to sort through Twitter messages and making screenshots of everything and I don't know. Um, what do you think of this platform? Well, it's pretty cool. I like it. Yeah, I do really like it. Um, there are some things that they could do better. For example, if you look here on the right, um, wait, oh yeah, of course. If you look right below me, you'll see a link saying settings. That's always on like the bottom left of the page and there's no other way to get there, which is kind of annoying because I didn't I couldn't find the settings at first and then I found them like oh okay and also if you show the um, if you show if you show the answers below the questions it's not that easy to recognize uh, where the question ends and the answer begins it's too close together it's I don't know but I do believe that they have been improving uh what was it I kind of forgot they 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 changed something that I liked and I kind of forgot what but it doesn't matter I believe I don't know whatever whatever okay next one three questions first two questions that are quick ones last one I'm curious about so do you ever consider streaming Team Fortress 2 on the channel a yes or no answer is fine well probably no I kind of explained that a few questions back who do you main in Overwatch? Oh, that's a good one. I play a lot as Reaper, and I know people are gonna hate that probably because he's an edge lord. But I don't know. I like Reaper. I like getting close to people, shooting them in the face. And uh, for I try, I try to use Reaper for what he was meant to do. I try to go up by uh, behind tanks and kill the tanks because that's what Reaper is really good at. Those two shotguns really eat away armor. So. That's great. But also, I uh, I would rather say that Mercy was my main. I always hated healing in games. And Mercy is the first character or first game character in a game that I really like to heal. And it turns out I'm reasonably good at it. So that was, I don't know. I really like Mercy. Um, and I also, because of that reason, I also like Anna because I played a lot with snipers in Call of Duty 2. Not World War 2, actual Call of Duty 2. So I do really like snipers and being able to heal and damage uh, people at the same time is Amazon. So that yeah, that that's pretty much who I main. Speaking of Overwatch, what was your best play of the game moment? Uh, oh god, I don't really remember what I actually answered on this, but um, I have no idea. I have no idea. I think oh yeah, I think there was oh yeah, I remember what I answered. There was one play of the game when Doomfist first got added to the main game, then he got taken out of the test realm. Um, I man, I finally, after days of trying, I managed to pick him in a public match. Um, and I don't know, there was like this corner, I don't remember which map it was, but there was this corner where everyone was just rushing the payload and I was there like just fist, no, not fisting, <laughs> punching everyone to death and it was awesome. I killed so many people and that was a great play of the game. I don't know if I probably have that saved somewhere, but I don't know. Uh, just Joseph, have you ever listened? To, oh, we're almost at the top. Have you ever listened to any of Croatian songs? If not, I rem I recommend Dalmacio od Kamena and 
Kako Suyorik Navarin. I don't know how to pronounce that, but um, like I said, Joseph, you actually played a lot of Croatian songs on the radio in the Discord channel. And so, yes, I do know Croatian songs. And I actually uh, recommended one song to him. And he sent me a message. I was, that it was pretty cool. <laughs> and I like that song. It's a really old song. It's in a dialect. And I don't know. It's, it's, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll link it in the description. Yeah. Um, how was your day? My day was awesome. Thank you. I believe that was sent, yeah, one day ago. So that was yesterday. I don't really remember what I answered, so I'll just answer about today. Well, I got up, I went to work, um, me and the boss went to some stuff, we went to pick up some stuff, we had a meeting with some people, and then we both got off work early because it's Friday and we're the only two persons working, and we wanted to have um, weekend. So, yeah, my day was pretty cool. I'm still, I'm, it's only... 4.30, but the day was already cool, and it's weekend, so that's perfect. Um, have you ever watched any animes, and if you have, which is your favorite? Oh, right, I, I answered that pretty, um, with a pretty big answer. I watched stuff like Bleach a little bit, Naruto a little bit. I watched Cowboy Bebop in full, because I love Cowboy Bebop. Um, I also watched, uh, dot hack slash sign a little bit. And of course I watched the, the standard stuff like Pokemon, Beyblade, Yu-Gi-Oh. And I, I loved all of that. I mean, Pokemon is awesome. Beyblade. I love Beyblade. I actually still have some Beyblades. Um, and Yu-Gi-Oh is also amazing. I still have like a little case of cards right over there. And sadly my deck got lost i don't know i had such a great deck and i still haven't found the courage to try and rebuild it but my all-time favorite anime animu my all-time favorite anime is dragon ball dragon ball z dragon ball gt a little bit less but mainly dragon ball super um i grew up watching the american funimation dragon ball z dub so you know english spoken not subbed and because of that, I am now following, of course, Dragon Ball Super and the dub. And every time there's a new episode, I watch it. And it's Amazon. They're now um, with the Tournament of Universes or something. I don't know. There's, there's some filler right now that kind of sucks. But I love Dragon Ball. I love Dragon Ball Z. I love... I don't know. I haven't seen the original Dragon Ball because that's just a little bit different I'm really into Super Saiyans, leveling up, and all of that stuff. But yes, Dragon Ball is awesome. Also, Cowboy Bebop. If you ever want to see a really good anime, watch Cowboy Bebop. I believe it's only like 28 episodes. It's really short, but it's great. So, well, that's that's basically the questions, isn't it? Oh, no, emails. Uh, <laughs> I'll have to cut that out. You, you did not see that. Um... Well, that was the questions. Of course, you can still send me questions if you want. And if I get enough questions, I'll make another part of this video. I'll make a new video saying, hello, I have new questions for you to answer. So I will answer them on this video. And I just answered a lot of questions on this video. So um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video or if you have more questions, subscribe. If you want to see more of my videos, subscribe again. I don't know what I'm saying. Anyways, thank you for watching. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!